Hello everybody, my name is Gatemar, welcome back for another video of Civ 6. We're gonna continue, boys, the series, of course. Where we have a lot of money, we're gaining a lot of money. We've got the Bombard, which is a, a Bombard level 2, which is uh, Henry. It used to be a Catapult. And right now we're focusing on our war against... Uh, yeah, that's right, we're focusing on our war against the Romans. We already have two units. Over here, uh, we've got Mary Reed and Charles Veins, which are basically going towards Kume. The uh, Romans only have two uh, cities left, which is, of course, their capital, Rome and Kume. And uh, afterwards, we're going to have to deal with the Germans, which the Germans are all the way over there. You can see on the map, they're right here. I've got two sloops looking at them, uh, looking at what they're doing. I did purchase another musketman I, be, uh, musketman I believe that's a musketman I purchased so everything so far is good I've got two musketmen I've got a bombard I'm gonna have two bombards once all of this is over like once I'm done with the the Romans but for now it's just a bunch of uh, we just have to wait it out and I uh, guess do the war and everything we, go. we actually have cannons now which is pretty okay pretty cool Barbarians. All right, so we need a new production over uh, Anamboy, which is fine. We're gonna. I don't know which one to do, boys. We're, we have to do the medieval walls for sure. That's that's one thing that is always like certain is that you you that you absolutely want to go for the medieval walls. Let's just go over here and put some religion over here. We're gonna spread our religion. Oh, it's already in. Okay. Our religion has been spread over Leon. We're gonna actually send this guy. Okay. We're actually gonna send uh, this mercenary over to Trinidad uh, next. Let's see what we can do here. We do have uh, Mary that we need to send somewhere else. Hang on, hang on, hang on. And we need Charles Vane as well over here. Now it's going to take a long time for them to go over to Kume because it's a it's a long ways ahead. It's a long ways ahead, boys. Um, I am going to need a musketman, so I'm, let me just send that musketman over here. There we go. And for the rest of those, I think what I'm going to do with this musketman is I'm just going to send him. Yeah, I'm just going to send him back to the roads. Oh, actually, he's going to have to fight somebody. He's going to have to fight a. Some barbarians. I'm also gonna send back uh, Roberts. We're gonna fight these barbarians. Afterwards, we're gonna send these guys to um, Germany. Yeah, we're actually gonna send this guy to Germany as well. So the bombard, which is uh, Henry Henry, we're gonna send him uh, somewhere else. We do have another unit. Okay, so that's my two sloops. We can actually start attacking the uh, enemy units right here, just for. Uh, Funsies, I guess, just for fun. Cripple their military uh, forces just really quick. Or while we're at it. Okay, we're gonna go over here instead. And start the really crippling these uh, their forces with our sloops. There we go. We got naval... Uh, you, uh, we have naval superiority, supremacy and everything by far. So they really, they don't, they don't stand too much chance against us. I don't know. I still don't know why they wanted to declare war on us like that. It was pretty stupid from their part. But what are you gonna do? Germany, Germany wants to make peace, boys. We haven't done anything except for me attacking them like a front sight. But since they're really far away, this time I might do an exception this time for the peace. I mean, they're gonna give me 15 gold. That not too much. One gold per turn is not too much either. But they do give me olives. I don't know what it's used for. I think I'm gonna accept boys uh, because they did like they are really far away from me and I kind of want to focus my money on other things than just m plain military. So um, I'm gonna accept. I'm gonna focus my efforts. I'm gonna focus my efforts onto Rome and uh, I think that would be better for us. So let's just like take the deal. We're, okay, we're making peace with uh, the Germans. And we're also going to be... We're still at war with the Romans. So don't worry, boys. We are going to... 
We're, we're going to destroy the Romans unless... For the Romans, it's going to be the same deal, though. The same old deal, like, they got to they give me at least 10 gold per turn if they want peace. So, we'll see if they uh, eventually do that. But for now, we really just need to uh, focus on ourselves, boys. Really, it's just better for me to just be able to not be at war with Germany because right now okay we've got natural history done right now I can't like focus I couldn't just focus on that resource discovered new types of the resources okay we got antiquity stuff okay okay we got these stuff right here which gives us artifacts and, and uh, stuff like that I think these places are used for um, especially used for the wonders and whatnot boys helps out even more I think that's how it works do you have some stuff over here let's go for nationalism yeah let's go for nationalism we do have some production over here we need to do so let's go for banking and uh, that's so can I yeah I can quickly purchase the banking I'm gonna do that I'm also uh, oh we need a production over here um, I guess we could go for the bar barracks. Yeah, why not? Barracks. Uh, uh, over here, we're gonna focus on something else. We really need to focus on something else. So, right now, what we should do, we pretty much have a bunch of things. Nothing that I can really build that would be interesting. I'm thinking maybe going for a settler, maybe? Nah, not a settler, it would be too soon. No, an actual settler would be really good. Over here, a city over here would be really good. So let's go for the settler until like I can do anything else, really. Okay, we are gonna, of course, send our musketmen's back and our uh, crossbowmen as well. Okay, we do need an envoy, boys. We do have envoys. So let's see what we can get. We How many envoys do we got? We've got two envoys, so might as well, uh, might as well get them over to and Jan, I'm thinking maybe Babylon would be a great one. I think Babylon would be a great one and Atusa as well. Okay, we're good. So all these units, let's see what we got. All these units. We're gonna send you back over to our territory. There we go. I do have some new uh, government type of thing. Let's see what we got. Where is it? Where is it, boys? I'm looking for it. I don't see it. I don't see the bonus stuff. Is this a uh, change? Uh, probably is that something like that? Yeah, it's probably something like that. Okay. Let's see, uh, we do have our missionary right here that we're trying to send over to Trinidad. We also have a builder. Now we've got new stuff to build, which is really interesting. We do have two mines to build over to uh, that new city that we got. We're going to send this bombard closer to the battlefield. Same thing goes for this guy right here. The musketman. Okay. The uh, crossbowman, we're gonna send you over here. We're gonna need you to be over here, and you just go over here. Okay, so right now, one of the capitals, uh, catapults of Buenos Aires, is already bombarding uh, Kume. We're getting a lot of money. What can I do for that m with that money? Like, what could I possibly do? Only purchase units. That's the only thing I can see that I pr could probably do. So I don't know, boys. I don't feel like that's really something interesting that I, I would want to build. But there's some bank that I might want to build right here. Okay, we're gonna save our money for the banks. We just got a siphon. So we just got some gold that got stolen by an enemy spy, boys. So if we can do that with one of our spies, I might like just quickly research or purchase a spy, boys. Might do it. A oh, Principe Island needs these stuff. Okay, it needed that. We're gonna focus on the workshop, I guess. There we go. Nice. 
And uh, we do need a new production over to Lyon. We don't have enough money now, but uh, we're gaining 400 per turn. This is crazy. We are going to go for the wonder that's uh, right here. Even though I don't have a, like uh, stuff like that right here. I don't uh, have this, but that's okay. Where could I buy the billet? Right here. Right here would be uh, s s great. It would be a great place to build it. Let's just send it over there, our missionary. And uh, next up, okay, our builder, I want to send him over there. He's going to build this right there. For our musketmans, let's just send him uh, over to the next territory. And the next stop, uh, we're going to send this musketman. There I go. Same thing goes for this crossbowman. Same thing goes for Oenyan. Bombard, yeah, the bombard, I want you to go over here. The roads are making this so much easier, boys, for the units to come to another direction and, and uh, everything. We do have our crossbowman right here. I can't forget about that. And uh, I could probably... I can't go anywhere. They're blocking my path. My own friendly units. What are you doing? Blocking my path, man. I'm just trying to live a, <laughs> a normal life. I'm just gonna go from this side, I guess, then. If they're gonna just block my path like that. I do need a new builder. I could quickly purchase. Um, let me see where I should do that. Where is there, like, something that could be interesting I could rebuild? Over here, I've got two mines over Patna that could be interesting to build. So let's do that. Kume just got destroyed, boys. So no more Kume. Buenos Aires did a great job defeating Kume. Only Rome is left, and I think I'm not gonna be able to annex Rome. Well, uh, not annex, but uh, destroy Rome. I'm gonna have to annex it. So that's probably a thing. Mass production's done. We got we can get shipyards now. That's pretty good. Let's see what we got. Uh, two turns for military tactics. Now let's go ahead and do that. Military tactics. This is two turns only. Uh, Musketmen, we're gonna send them over here. Same thing for the uh, for Charles Vane and for Mary Reed. If you send them to the next city, boys, it's on its way. Uh, we do have, yeah, plenty of stuff we can build over here. Plenty of stuff, boys. Uh, I'm gonna start by doing this right here the lumber mill. We also need yeah, our musketmen over here, and we need our crossbowmen to go there. Also need a bombard, of course, to continue the road. Really, we're just moving units at this point. There's nothing too much going on, except for moving units and whatnot. So it's just a bunch of of slow turns and whatnot. And I think we're doing great, boys. We do have our builder, of course, that's right here. That uh, we could harvest the resource but I'm gonna basically do that instead there we go helping out our city boys using my money now to help out my city that's the best option right here that's, uh, I've, at least that's what I think is the best option do we have enough money for because I did see in principle we could pr purchase okay two stuff we can go for shipyards now of course so it's seven hundred and a hundred and a thousand for the Shipyards, okay. We got military tactics done, alright. So now that this is built, this is built, um, we do have one more bill in us. We're gonna send him over there to do the uh, plantation. And we're gonna have another builder, no worries. I'm just gonna quickly purchase another builder already. There we go, so that he can uh, build more stuff. Uh, we do have everybody here, all of our units. Let's just send our units here, I guess. There we go. Musketman is having a hard time passing by. I think, yeah, let's go continue our passage over here with all of our units, boys. Doing great so far. We're just going to fortify him. What about, okay, we do have a new, of course, research to do. Let's see what we can do. We could go for the frigates. Uh, the printing instead or the um, the uh, renaissance walls as well we could go for that 
I'm thinking going for going for the uh, square f uh, rigging would be better. Astronomy, maybe no, not astronomy. I think we're gonna go for square rigging. We're gonna upgrade our military uh, naval forces for sure. That's the best thing you can do, really. We do need a new trade route, which what we're gonna do to uh, in order to have better like roads to actually have roads towards Carthage and whatnot. Uh, I am gonna send Ambrabe. I'm gonna send this guy. I'm gonna transfer him to uh, Anambe, and he's gonna do something else instead. If he's gonna go somewhere else, uh, we do need to send this missionary somewhere else now because he's done with what he was doing. Send this uh, sloop over there. We're gonna send this sloop. We're gonna make him sleep over Trinidad. Protect. Uh, these cities, these re uh, this region. All right, we're good. Anything else, really? Yes, of course. Uh, the crossbowman. So Mary Reed, we got her. And Charles Vane, which is the first one to finally arrive at the city of Rome. First one to arrive, boys. So the first one is going to be able to start bombarding the hell out of these di uh, these guys. And I think we're good. That's about it. Let, uh, let's go for the next turn. It is a beautiful and important monument and an international intercultural treasure. Unless and until it can be shared by both religions in harmony, which would be a grand idea, it should remain a secular building, honoring both religions who have made it beautiful. Okay, the Agla Sofia boys, we got it. Over Paris, it's done. We are, we can officially do something else here. Let's go for entertainment complex. Maybe industrial zone actually would be even better. Or encampment. No, let's go for industrial zone. And where should I build that? Should probably build that somewhere around. Actually here would be really good. No. Let's go build it over here. Yeah, right here would be uh would be pretty great I am gonna be in good golden age for the next turn now uh, for the next era boys because I managed to get over there let's we got plenty of stuff over these cities to do that's pretty great um, commercial lab maybe industrial zone now always industrial zone boys first because you want to have as much like production as possible available to you so always go for that we also have this builder right here, which is going to do some production, even more. Let's see what we got. Okay, Mary Reed, you're going there. You cannot bombard just yet, but I think next turn you're going to be able to bombard. You should be at least able to bombard. Let me just heal you up. Musketman, you're going over here. As for you all, okay, so this is the builder. I do want to send him over there, create some mines, and we're going to send him over here. Same thing for the musketman, alright. For the next, the next stop is going to be a bombard, of course, we send them over there. We do have our trade route, which we want to get it to Carthage. So where is Carthage and all this? There we go, right there it is. Okay, we're not gaining uh, 400 gold anymore. But that's fine. That's fine because it doesn't mean that we're not like we're we're not gaining anything. It's just it just means that uh, we're doing pretty great. Right, you are gonna sleep, protect our borders. You are just gonna simply go over here. See this trait complete, all right? Anything else we got? No, it doesn't seem like we got anything else really. Uh, I can probably purchase some stuff right here. Me look around really quick if I, there's really anything I can build. Now everything seems to be in the thousands for me to quickly purchase. Did you ever build a castle in the air? Here is one. Brought down to earth and fixed for the wonder of ages. The Taj Mahal, boys. We got it. Human it's nation. done. And we got nationalism Manifest. as well. Our military. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We got uh, nationalism. We got all this great stuff. We do need a new civic. 
since nationalism is done. Let's see what we can get. Really, let's see what we can get. That's uh, 12 turns, okay. 9, t 7, or 11 turns. Scorched Earth, Exploration, or Expropriation. That's for Settlers. That's two invoice. That's not really that interesting. Uh, opera. We could get that. We could get. I'm, I'm more interested in the civil engineering. We're gonna go for that voice. Okay. Uh, we do not need. Oh, Rome. Rome went all the way over there, just to, just for to have some navy, on my w borders. Huh? That's very interesting. Do you have a new governor? Which is a great engineer. Nice. The great engineer great boys. You know what he can do quickly uh, do some wonders for us so if we be are building a wonder somewhere like this for example it's almost done we're building a, a wonder over Lyon so might as well send him over to uh, Lyon uh, transfer to transfer to Lyon there we go uh, we do have another builder I just quickly purchased really uh, over there, there we go. Send this. Uh, we do have this, this musketman right here. We're gonna try to send these units as quick as possible over the territories, boys. But it's taking a long time for them to do so. Um, finally, I, I do have my musketman that's on this way. I do have a trader right here that I need to do. I'm gonna send a trade route to Antioch, I guess. Would be pretty good. So where's Antioch at? right here all right here's the trader out to Antioch we do have okay so this guy needs to sleep really quick uh, you we do have this guy there we go just send him over there I am gonna eventually quickly purchase a um, what's it called a spy boys but for now I'm just gonna wait on it all right or even maybe research a spy but for now I'm just quickly purchasing the the buildings and whatnot the tiles we do need another governor, governor where we don't have one. We don't have one over these three cities and this one as well. So four cities where we don't have a governor. Let's just point a uh, point one. This is a religious guy. This librarian. We're going to get this guy over to, I guess we could get him to Lyon. Let's get him to Lyon boys. And we do need uh, envoys. We do have uh, envoys. Let's see what we can do with those. We need to get Antioch back into our mix. Same thing goes for um, for uh, Bandar Brunei boys. So we need to get these two back into our mix. We did get Brenda Bru uh, Bandar Brunei onto our mix, but that's about it. Okay, you need to heal up. And you need to heal up as well. All right, I think we're good. We just need to wait because the money is like it cost a hundred, a uh, thousand stuff to build some, some new stuff. Come back victories earned by. Okay, so that's my naval shin uh, things. We do have uh, something new right here, which is right here. So units have 50% less comeback strength reducing uh, reduction from being injured, boys. We're gonna do that. Anything else that seems pretty good? 50% production in this roll and melee unit? No, I'm quickly purchasing my units, so it doesn't matter to me. There we go. Mongolia just declared war to me, boys. That's just great. I'm still at war with Rome. I haven't finished my formal war, which means they've got an ally, which. Who's it? Uh, who's the ally? It's this guy. Really? Like, are the like the nations not done like just declaring war to me for no reason? Like, I don't even understand why they're even declaring war to me in the first place. So we're at war with this guy, which is really close to my territory. Where I have to take down that city really quick. Uh, all right, Rome, you win for this time. You're gonna survive for a little bit longer. Uh, and I'm gonna just focus on these dudes. So Mongolia too. We're gonna have to protect our borders with the the sloops we have against Mongolia. This is just bullshit. Why would they declare uh, war to me? And we're entering a new era in nine turns. Okay, 
We're just gonna send our trader to uh, Kum uh, Kumasi, boys. Kumasi. There we go. Okay. We're gonna have to do something about all this for sure. We're gonna rebuild this. Uh, you already built all of this. Is there anything else? There is something else over there. Yeah. We're gonna create that fi that well resource for, uh, as well. There we go. Now city range. Of course, we're still getting attacked by these Romans. They need to learn some manners. We didn't beat them. Yeah, we did beat them. That's good. God damn! Look at all these, look at all these cities, uh, city states that we've got against each other. That's unbelievable. All right, we're gonna go for the workshop. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, go for the workshop. I need these units to be uh, over there quick. I think I can't uh, do anything really. I thought I, w I am building like a wonder. I don't know why that's just not working right now. Let's just send our musketmen back. Same thing for girls. Uh, for girls for these units, boys. Sending him back. I'm gonna still uh, keep uh, Charles Vane over here because he needs to really heal up. You are just gonna simply go over here. Oh. They do have this, uh, the walls over there. That's not good. That protects them. We're, we're gonna take care of uh, of this city first, because they've got. Uh, since they're more dangerous towards me, uh, for me. We do have that bombard. That bombard. We're gonna send him back over here. Okay. So, everybody wants to declare war to me like a bunch of dumbasses. Apparently, you just skip the turn. Okay, uh, so what I have to do, I don't have a choice, boys. I could quickly purchase this stuff, but I'm not gonna do it. I need to focus on bombards and musketmen. I already have one musketman. We're gonna go for the bombard, boys. We need to have even more units. Unbelievable. I can't believe that they would go and just. Declare a war to me like that for no fucking reason. And I don't have like... Here's the thing. Um, I don't have any um, friendship like to the point where... I don't have any alliance with anybody really. So that's really bullshit to me. It really is. Let's get uh, an exchange for uh, some stuff. He's willing to do that. That's great. Um, and for the next part, nothing else really. Doesn't look like it. Okay. You have this. We're good. Next turn, we're going to be able to upgrade our units, I think, into frigates. I think we're going to be able to upgrade them. I don't know how it works exactly, but we do have a bombard now. And they're going to fill our RAF. Treasury is filling up quite nicely. Yes, I know, Nicholas. I know I'm rich. Open borders, they want more mercury. And they're giving me more gold. Nice. There we go. Oh, there we go. Rome is willing to make peace, boys. 15 gold per turn they're going to give me. I accept. There we go. We're at peace with Rome. They only have one city left. It's fine by me. They can keep that. Uh, they can keep Rome. Uh, right now, I need to focus on these cities anyways. So, it's fine by me, boys. It really is. Square rigging is done. We can get the frigates, which is really good. Let's see what, what else could we get. Uh, this mine resource right here would be good. We're already getting attacked by the uh, enemy forces, the city states, of course. We're gonna defeat that uh, crossbowman easily, though, with our walls. There we go. Oh my god, it's still alive. The crossbowman is still alive. We're gonna be able to deal with that easily. No worries. Uh, we do have our. We also have uh, this right here. We're gonna plunder this, the trade route. Alright. This is how we do things here. Gonna mess with us. That's how it works. There we go. I actually have a fleet, boys. I sent the captains. I'll report their ships ready to wait anchor at the world's first fleet is ready for action. I actually have a fleet, boys, now. Oh, my God. You're fucked, buddy. I've got a fleet. Okay, we got a uh, new research we need to do. Astronomy would be really good. We're gonna go for siege tactics. Since we do have the two bombards. We do have Great Emerald. I'm going to pass on that. Okay, new production, boys. Arena, for sure, we're here. 
And over here you want to have the workshop, bank, thinking a bank. There we go. Okay, the units, the units, boys. Send them over, uh, let's send them over here. Just to be sure, we're gonna skip this turn for him. We're gonna also, we're still stand, uh, sending our missionary over there. Okay, bombard. You're going there. On this, uh, on this place. Same thing goes for you, crossbowman, Mary Reed. No, let's keep healing him up, and once we get him to over there, we're gonna get him to Patna, and he's gonna be upgraded. We're gonna upgrade him, boys. Okay, I think we're good. We don't have anything else right now going on. We could, like, I think, form up a fleet, another fleet. No, can't do that. Yeah, I'm protected by borders from the enemy's ship, enemy's fleet. A fleet. There's gonna have fleets for sure at this point. I mean, they should at least. I am gonna need to start. Oh, you uh, you need to do that. There we go. I'm gonna need to start focusing um, on maybe forces right here to take over. Like with the fleets and whatnot, I can upgrade. But I need like units to be able to get into the cities. So. Fortunately enough, we can bombard every city they, uh, that Mongolia has. We can bombard them with our fleet, which is a really good thing, boys. Which means we can only, we can uh, basically form up a bunch of uh, s s sloops right here, or even no uh, frigates at this point, and uh, we can really start attacking these dudes, start dealing damage to their walls. All right, last turn. We're gonna do this. This is gonna be our last turn, boys. Before uh, anything else, let's just create that resource right here. Okay. So really, this is gonna be our last turn. Okay. You are gonna stay here. You go over there. Missionary, you go over here. God damn, we got destroyed. Holy shit. And why is it not? See, it's supposed to it's supposed to be escorting the uh, my musket moons. It's not doing that. I don't get it, boys. Don't get what's going on right now. Let's just send our crossbowman back. All right, he, he's almost fully healed, um, Charles Vane. So we should be all right. Let's just. Uh, what else do we do? Oh yeah, that's right. Sending our sloop right here. Fill the raft of my fleet. I legit have a fleet, boys. That's unbelievable. Okay, let's continue to send our uh, sloop right here. We're gonna start building up our navy, boys. We do need frigates. Okay, so what's better, the frigates or the sloops? That's 45, 55, range of 2. That's, uh, it's got more movement, but it's got less range and less uh, melee. So you know what I'm gonna do, boys. I'm gonna go for the frigates. But I can't. What is that? What's that? The the, the noise. You you hear that music, boys? Unbelievable. We're gonna go for the frigates. There's another frigate right here. Really uh, gonna control the seas, boys, for sure. All right, I'm gonna end it right here, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy, boys.